Hello there, friends and RC family. My name is Alec from High Noon Hobbies, and if you are new to this channel, I very much appreciate you checking it out. I hope you will stick around, watch at least this video, see if this content seems worth your while, and consider subscribing so that then I can say to you, if you aren't new here, welcome back to yet another Friday upload. This one, kind of a special part one of a two-part series covering the Slut Crawlers Sand Hollow Takeover for the 2023 season. Lots and lots of awesome content to cover, so much so that I just couldn't fit it all into one video. So we are actually going to be doing a Friday and a Saturday upload this week. So get pumped because this is the first time that we have done a two upload week on the High Noon Hobby YouTube channel in quite some time. And we will still be doing the Sunday live stream with Sons of Crawl at 12 o'clock on Sunday for the High Noon at High Noon live stream. But before we get into the video today, I do want to let you guys know that the Northern versus Southern Utah RC Crawling Championship events have all been posted. All of those dates are now available and I have them marked on my calendar. I'll be trying to hit every single one of those events. That means three Northern and three Southern events as well as the championship. So that makes seven events total. And I am absolutely stoked. If you guys remember, uh, kind of from March to May, uh, June of last year, we had a ton of awesome, awesome content hitting the channel, and that was because of the North vs. South uh, Championship. We will be doing the same type of content again, but I'm just going to try to crank up the quality and make the videos even more engaging for all of you guys. So I hope that you join me along for this next season of crawling. Hopefully, we might be able to take a podium or two. Who knows? Probably not, but I'm going to try my darndest this season. So uh, with that being said, let's just jump straight into this video. I do want to kind of make a caveat though to this video. Uh, I have been getting some comments recently, really just one or two, but I've, you know, I've taken them to heart. A few different comments where people were telling me that I talk too much. And I must say that I agree. Honestly, sometimes I do think that my commentary is a bit much, especially when I just don't have a whole lot to say and I'm just trying to fill dead air. So this time I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm really just going to watch this video along with you guys and give a little bit of light commentary here and there and try not to be too intrusive. So. With this different style, I'd love to get your guys' feedback. Let me know in the comments section down below if you think that you'd like to hear me talk about more of what was going on, or if you enjoyed me shutting my face whole and just uh, watching some RC crawling happen. So, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we're going to give it a go. Um, we'll, see how, we'll see how everyone likes it. But let's just jump straight into the 2023 Slut Crawlers Sand Hollow Takeover. There's nothing interesting up here. It's pretty. <laughs> So we actually ended up showing up to Sand Hollow on Thursday evening, at least uh, Cameron, Sons of Crawl, Mike, and I did. And uh, we kind of ended up being the ones to sort out camp a little bit, or at least kind of get the lay of the land first thing. And, uh, and then we waited for the rest of the group to show up. Oh yeah, and I used an RV kitchen for the first time in my life. I'm not much of an RV guy, or at least I haven't spent much time in an RV previously, but uh, this trip was cold enough to merit the use of an RV, and so when Cameron offered me a spot in his, I couldn't turn him down. Sixty bucks a set. So it's the same as buying a stage. These ones. Are <laughs> nice. Come here, you shithead. This is Kyle's camel humps. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I got really lucky. I found <laughs> He just changes the subject. <laughs> red, <laughs> red Cat. Red Cat makes these little tiny oh, drive shafts. Oh, you have Red Cat yeah, on there. Dude, good red cat drive shafts. Start calling him Cameron. Hi, <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> Zip, man. Uh, today we finished up one of our Sin City cars, um, which started like from a guy. Of course, even if we're down in Sand Hollow, we're not going to miss a Thursday night radio talk live stream with West Desert Wheeler and Scumbag RC. And of course, this time we had a Fabin 801 guest, which was a fantastic show. If you didn't catch that one, I definitely recommend going back onto Logan or West Desert Wheeler's Instagram page and re-watching it. It was absolutely fantastic. And then after that, we just couldn't help ourselves. We had to do a little bit of night crawling. The whole crew wasn't there yet. We were still waiting on the Rock Pirates guys and some of the Bone Box guys to come over from California. Uh, but while we were waiting for them to get there in the middle of the night, we decided we'd burn some of that midnight oil and uh, get some RC crawling in. Oh, that's it. Beautiful. The little 18. Oh! I can't really judge because everything's so fucking sandy out here. Jesus Christ! This grabs the lights out. <laughs> That's gnarly. Thank you, Ray. You're a very nice company. <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> After a wonderful evening of night crawling, I made my bed, hopped into my sleeping bag, and passed the hell out. When I woke up in the morning, all of the Californians had arrived, and so had a huge lineup of Slut Crawler's vehicles. A huge shout out to Mike from Sons of Crawl for keeping the sustenance rolling during this Sand Hollow takeover. Shout out to Jeff for bringing this badass Jeep out to Sand Hollow to get around for the weekend. And if you haven't seen it, here is the new West Desert Wheeler Mobile. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Also a big shout out to Taylor for a ride in the XJ up to our first spot the declined trail. Oh, you are? Nice! I'm proud of you.
There are two rigs here that you are definitely going to want to keep an eye on during the 2023 comp season here on the channel. I think these are going to be some high performance rigs and two very competent drivers. We've got Kyle and Cameron here showing off their new class twos. Just in case you can't tell, it is incredibly slick out here. This whole weekend we were calling Sand Hollow the low traction zone because it was relatively wet the week before we arrived. And uh, if you know anything about sandstone uh, and you know anything about the storms down in the hurricane area, you know two things. One, sandstone loves to retain water and when it retains water it loves to turn into a paste when you try to uh, drive our sea trucks on it. And two, uh, if you've ever been in a storm in the hurricane area, you know that it's windy, very windy. There's a reason that it is called the Hurricane Valley. And uh, it's, uh, it can blow some sand around on the rocks. And when it does blow sand around on the rocks, it makes it even more difficult to find traction. Turn more into the wall, bro. More tongue. More tongue. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> that, that's not an easy I saw this spot. one, it was like a koozie, and it counts like so how many damage you had. And it goes like yeah, one, if you two, went, three, Yeah, and see, that's what I missed. I should have gone further to that side. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why we uh, run tube test. So <laughs> <laughs> Like it's nothing. All right, let's see if the RC Speedy can get some redemption here. It's a little slick. <laughs> This looks so good on there. Uh. Nice, dude. <laughs> Any of you who have not seen this bad buggy over here, this is Scumbag RC's new tube chassis rig that the Slut Crawler group actually helped him put together, and I think he did an absolutely standout job in making this thing pop. Love those pink shift wheels, and I love the pink splatter paint job. I think he really killed it with this particular build. The drab text, just everything. I mean, Scumbag is, he, he is super, super, Super good at uh, at just the scale and the little details that make the rig really pop and look amazing. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking catches on your sweater every time. It's like. <laughs> 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 
damn, dude. Logan, this is a good one. You might be able to run 80 and rob oh, this one. He's trying to push it. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, dude. He was a little pinched. Oh? It's that, that driver rear. Oh. Yeah, as soon as you lose it off the wall. The, the rear passenger is holding it when you get a little bit further. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it. You got it on video? Yeah. I Logan! It on video. I went to go slow mo to get some mud at me and uh, I did the 180. Dude, what the fuck? That freak? was so sick. How did that even hold on? That was. I, of course, couldn't help myself but to get some cinematic shots of the Speedy R2 chassis while I had it on the rocks for the second time ever. I just love the way that this thing looks, man. It's it's a gorgeous rig. <laughs> okay, sick. It'll be, it'll be in a video three weeks from now, so you're good. <laughs> it's a high noon hobby exclusive. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus, I have a press pass. <laughs> Does the, does the one from uh, oh, you Logan's phone behind Alex's phone? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your phone in here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up. I'll get it from the top. Here we go. From the top? Make it drop. Oh, <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> it is a sick truck. Yeah. I don't think I've seen a few pink jackets.
This line I thought was really interesting. To me, this one demonstrated how small little differences between rigs can be all that it takes to have one rig uh, easily do a line and another rig struggle super hard with it. So first we've got Zach here trying to hit this absolutely disgusting notch. Now, from this particular angle, it's hard to tell just how just how tough this obstacle is. Um, but he, if you can't tell now, he is completely vertical with his rig and he's trying to make his way up this little notch here. You can see that he's trying to flick his servo and really he's just trying to get that hook up on the upper ledge and he just doesn't quite have the wheelbase to make that hook happen. Now we're taking a look here at Connor from Rock Pirates in the Chupacapra. You can see how his longer wheelbase gives him the ability to get that hook up on that ledge and that's all it takes to get that truck up and over. Very interesting, I thought. Yeah, I think it's just different setups. Cause whenever I was going that way, it just kicked me in weird ways. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> trips are kind of tough, you know, it's like, do you bring it down? Right, yeah. You had to get all set up and ready to roll for just a couple of days. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we, we had a good idea. Yeah, huh? Okay. What about those three? We had a toy hauler and the wife and I decided to upgrade to the trailer. Yeah. Because we never, they don't like going to the desert. So, I've got a, uh, a razor now and a flatbed hey. and a trailer. What do I do? Get up here! <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> All right, if we're going to do that, start it over there, put that one on top of that one. <coughs> Here we go, keep going. Sorry, we're going to Damn it, dude. <laughs> it keeps going it down. I wonder if you drove like a little bit right when you get in that spot so it doesn't suck it down so far. Throw that blue one next to the silver one if you would. Or on top, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're trying to take the victory. Trying to get that butt. line, son. There's a video and oh, everyone yeah. wiggle oh, their... Oh, keep it down there, Sean. It's hidden, Sean. Don't see it. You don't want to know you were here. Steering These are real side. This is a pretty fun looking line with some serious repercussions. The other side of this, which you'll see here in a second, is about a 20, 30 foot drop. So you don't want to lose your truck down that way. Well done, Scumbag RC. I want to try it again now that that guy made it. <laughs> Keep your eyes on Zach here as he spots Kristen's truck through this yeah, line. Let it go. That's what you want. Let it go. Let it go. Try to turn into it now. A little bit more. Now. That's something hard to do. Oh, oh, oh no! Little butt fucker in a little bit right there. Okay. We'll just sit up here waiting for all you guys. It's okay. See you later. Uncle Bear will get it. Save some of the beer for me. <laughs> Bear? What are you saying? Bear? Your team driver drinks red apple ale. Cut! <laughs> At least it's an ale. <laughs> <laughs> Been drinking green tea all day. The other team driver drinks. Well, I'm freaking pumped. I'm gonna yeah. drink green tea all goddamn day. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> to the top. That's two interceptors and one G speed. There's only 
Big shout out to these Rock Pirates boys and all of the Californians that made the pretty substantial trek up to hang out with us at Sand Hollow for the weekend. Really appreciate you guys coming out, and I look forward to crawling with you again soon. This is called the lazy man's way to get to the crawling spot. My favorite way to get there in Sand Hollow. Now we've moved on to the second crawling spot for the day, and we decided to enjoy some mouse trap. And I decided it was time to pull out the C2 rig, which was performing quite well with all of the modifications I made to it uh, before coming out here. I'm quite stoked for this season with this rig. I think uh, I think we're going to definitely turn some heads, uh, showing people what we can do with some Rock Pirates bits on a C channel chassis. better way to end off the day than to try to break some parts in the infamous Catorce line by West Desert Wheeler. Good luck, Zach. Right there. Yeah, follow it up right there. Yeah, it was, it was buff. But then the rear, you need to start bringing the rear over before. Did you break it? And it seems like it doesn't have the same lift. It's been fucking eating lines a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Nasty. Bleh! <laughs> oh my god, that fucking passenger tire is getting dem demolished. Oh, oh, the, okay, the rear, it went up this time, but can the front go up too? That's the real question. Will the rear push the front up? Oh my God, that's a sad tire. God, 
tried it. <laughs> all right you guys made it to the end of part one if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this weekly from the high noon hobby youtube channel but especially don't forget to tune in tomorrow saturday for the second part of the sand hollow slut crawlers takeover all right guys take care we'll see you soon